grew up in a home where I, my mother and my father both loved me very much, but there was domestic violence present. And um, a lot of times what we don't realize is that as women in a domestic violence situation, um, it's not just us being affected, but it's also the children. Um, so I saw that for many years growing up. And then when I became um, old enough to begin to date, um, I made some poor choices. I got involved with a young man who was an abuser. And um, being that I grew up in that manner, and um, it was the norm for me. Okay. Um, I often tell people when I go out and I share my testimony and I, and I talk to different women groups that um, when the first time I got hit, um, I remember being shocked and we kind of went back and forth. But after the dust settled on that episode, mm -hmm. um, I sat down between his legs and laid my head on his lap. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, he must really love me because he cared enough to hit me. Mm. And I grew up in the church. I heard people talk about it. But to me, it was so normal. That's mm -hmm. what I thought a loving relationship was about. Mm -hmm. um, and so as years went on, I ended up marrying this young man. Okay. And um, in order for me to get out of that relationship, it was a struggle. I can remember... Mm -hmm. Um, losing who I was. As a young person, I was very active in church. I was very active in school, and um, I uh, did public speaking. I played basketball. Um, I began to lose who I was. I lost my confidence in who I was through that relationship. And just about every level of domestic violence that you can speak on, whether it was financial, whether it was emotional, mental, spiritual even, because we know that domestic violence is also spiritual. Um, there were times when he would prevent me from going to worship. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and even in experiencing all of that, I lost myself. Mm -hmm. um, but there came a time, like the prodigal son came to himself, mm -hmm. when I came to myself and I realized that where I was and what I was doing and what I was involved in was not God's will for my life. Mm -hmm. And I had to get out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and so... In getting out of it, there was a lot of residue that was on me from my childhood, from that relationship. And I was well into my 30s before I really began to deal with the residue and really realize that, hey, you got to change your mindset. And that's powerful. You know why? Yeah. Because a lot of times we go through terrible situations, bad things happen to us, but we never take the time to assess it. What happened? Why did this happen? And mm -hmm. so we can recover properly mm -hmm. and be healed from mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You know, good. I was thinking, um, your mom, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how long did she stay in it or did she ever come out of it? Is she still, I mean, you know, what, what My took parents place are still married to this day. Okay. My father changed. Okay. Um, which does not always happen. Yeah, that's true. You know, that is a rarity. Yeah. Um, but my father changed. Okay. Um, so he no longer abused her okay. in that manner. So um, he changed. But the changed, damage was done for But the damage you. was done. Okay. So um, what did they think about your story? Um, when I wrote the book, mm -hmm. I sat down and I, I shared the book with my parents. And my father said, you have to tell the story. Wow. Wow. That's powerful. That's coming from my father. Yeah. He wow. told me, you got to tell the story. And that he was the abuser. Mm. Right. Mm. Yeah. You have to tell the story. Mm. Um, it affected me greatly. And he saw that. Um, but the book was also a part of my healing process. Yeah. Um, every time I get up to I share with women, it's a part of my healing process. Yes. It lets me know that the change that I made and the desire to no longer to be abused was the right choice for me. Every time I see a young woman who's in a situation similar to what God has delivered me from, it lets me know that I made the right decision. Like what you saw? Make sure to comment and like below. Hit that subscribe button for more content uploaded weekly.